To our coronavirus coverage, where case numbers continue to climb higher every day, 227 new cases popped up overnight, and the state is going to rely on federal money to get the economy back on track. The money from the CARES Act and how it's being split was negotiated by Congress in the beginning of the pandemic. Well, today, Senators Roger Wicker and Cindy Hyde-Smith, they join Governor Tate Reeves for his daily briefing. Gerald Harris joins us now live from the Wolf Oak Building downtown with more. Gerald? The state health doctor is reporting 3,400 Mississippians have had the coronavirus and recovered. This comes as Governor Tate Reeves touts achievements that he say are surpassing other states. He also says assets aren't enough, and he's leaning on public and private partnerships. We're continuing to look at the resources we have available, and we're continuing to execute our plan. And we're going to continue to do that uh, until... Uh, someone uh, with a higher power tells us we can't do that anymore because we are committed to get every single available resource to the people of Mississippi in as expedited a way as possible and get it to them so that they can use it now, not eight months from now, not eight years from now, but as soon as humanly possible. We should go out to the rural area. Joining Governor Rees was Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith and Senator Roger Wicker. They mostly touted the CARES Act, the $2 trillion coronavirus relief package. Now members of the press were fully expecting to be able to question Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith and Senator Roger Wicker. That did not happen. 